Hello, this is Pete from Electric Bike Report, and this is the Stromer ST1 Platinum electric bike in for testing and review. So this is a fast electric bike. It goes up to 28 miles per hour, and it does it with pedal assist only. There's no throttle on the handlebar. There's no twist grip or thumb throttle or anything. So basically you just select which pedal assist level you want, and uh, this, uh, there's a torque sensor in the back that will determine how hard you're pedaling and based on that pedal assist level you selected the bike will take you up to around 28 miles per hour so this bike is all about pedaling and going fast so one of the unique things about Stromer electric bikes is that they have the battery pack in the down tube of the frame you can remove that battery pack by opening up the uh, lock here and then the door will swing to the side and you can pull the pack out I'll show that in a little bit here the Platinum comes with a 36 volt, 14 and a half amp hour battery pack, and uh, that's a bit larger than the traditional 36 volt, uh, 10 amp hour pack that you find on a lot of electric bikes. On the other side here, this is the uh, charging port, so you can uh, charge the battery while it's in the bike. Uh, you plug the charger in there, and then the charger plugs into a normal wall outlet. And uh, you can also uh, charge the battery uh, once it's been removed if you want. So to open the battery compartment, you turn the key here and then push the button on the other side of the frame near the charging port and it will open up. And then you can take the battery pack and pull it out like this. You get the whole battery pack there. And then on the bottom, there's a connector for uh, the charger. The charger has a special connector that will connect into this. And then uh, you can charge the battery pack uh, in your house or at the office. Um, but you can also charge it uh, on the bike as well. So just slide it back in there, close it up, lock the key, and you're good to go. Let's take a look at the Stromer frame and fork. First of all, this is the carbon fiber fork that uh, comes on the Platinum. Uh, you also have the option for a suspension fork if you want. The uh, frame itself is uh, aluminum tubing and uh, you can see it's uh, pretty well oversized, has a uh, nice thick weld. On the back here, uh, some rectangular seat stays, kind of gives it that unique look. Um, but yeah, overall, this is a uh, pretty large and tough looking frame. This is the 500 watt direct drive rear hub motor uh, on the Platinum. You can also see here, this is the uh, torque sensor uh, on the rear dropout of the frame and uh, that senses how much power you're putting into the pedals and, and matches it with the pedal assist level that you've selected. And uh, on the back here, let's talk about the drivetrain. Here's the uh, Shimano DRXT rear derailleur and uh, it has a nine speed freewheel on the, on the back there. And then uh, an FSA crank that has uh, three chain rings. So that gives you 27 total speeds of, uh, of gears to select there. And then this is the Shimano Sora uh, front derailleur. All right, so the display, this is where you adjust all the pedal assist levels. Right now, this is in power, which is the highest. Then you got Tour, e City, and Eco. And then you have no pedal assist, and then also a Recoup 1 and a Recoup 2. And what those recuperation modes are is it basically turns the motor into a generator to put some energy back into the battery pack. So it's basically recharging the battery pack and where you might use that is say you're on a long uh, descent and you just want to throw it into one of these recoup modes to scrub off a little speed and uh, put a little charge back into the battery pack. You can also enable that with the uh, rear brake lever and you can see there as I squeeze the rear brake lever it goes to recoup too and basically it's just activating that system automatically when you grab that rear brake lever so that's handy because on a long descent you might just grab a little bit of the brake lever and uh, get some of that uh, energy back. And then also uh, on the display you can see that there's the speed, your average speed, your distance, distance odometer, trip time, time, and then uh, the battery level as a percentage. You can also see the battery level here, it's always uh, shown on the display. And there's a couple more features on the display, but you can uh, check those out in the full review. And then uh, this is the Shimano Sora front derailleur shifter and the rear derailleur shifter there. And let's not forget about the bell, it comes in handy. And uh, these are the Magura MT2 hydraulic disc brake levers. 
So with that, let's get into the brakes. All right, so this is the Magura MT2 hydraulic disc brake. Uh, it's the caliper and rotor there. And the uh, rotor is 180 millimeters in diameter. So pretty large, pretty good stopping power. And then this is the uh, rear uh, Magura disc brake on the uh, 500 watt direct drive hub motor there. The ST1 Platinum comes with Alex rims and Schwalbe Big Bend tires. The Big Bend tires are pretty unique because they have a, a low rolling resistance tread profile and they also are really wide so uh, they offer uh, some good grip and some cushion. Alright so that was an overview of the features of the Stromer ST1 Platinum. Check out electricbikereport.com for the full review.